right, so this video is going to go over the basics of our polynomial vocabulary, the vocabulary you have to know when dealing with polynomials. Now, the good news is you've actually been dealing with polynomials for quite some time. You just may not have known they were called polynomials. So let's break down the word polynomial first. Polyno poly means many, okay, more than one. Nomial means terms. So polynomial literally means many terms. We've already had a video where we reviewed what a term is and the coefficient and the variable. And then of course a number that stands by itself is uh, the constant is also a term. So the number eight is technically a polynomial. So again, you've been dealing with these forever. Eight X, eight X squared, eight X squared plus three X, eight X squared plus three X plus two. All of those are examples of polynomials. Okay, so now if we break down our types of polynomials, the first one we have is a monomial. Again, nomial means terms, mono means one. So a monomial is a polynomial with one term. Okay, so we have, um, like I said, the number eight, eight x, eight x squared. Of course, I could have a different coefficient. Um, 10x squared y to the third z. That is a monomial because a term again is multiplication of a number and variables. And that's what that is. This is all multiplication. There is no addition or subtraction to separate it. So those are all examples of monomials. So binomial, by means two, nomial means term. So you're talking a polynomial with two terms. And so here you'll see one addition or subtraction sign that will separate our two terms. So 3x plus 1 is a binomial. 7x to the fourth plus 8x squared is a binomial. There are two terms there, x minus 1. Of course, you can have different variables than x. That's just the one I tend to go to. Those are all binomials. And so trinomial, tri means 3, nomial means side. Our terms, so three terms. So we have 5a squared plus 7a minus 10. Okay, anything that has three terms. So you're going to see two addition subtraction signs that will separate those three terms like that. So there you go. After three terms, there is no more special name. Okay, so something that has four terms is called a four term polynomial. Something with five terms is called a five term polynomial and so on and so forth down the line. So that's how that's the vocabulary related to how many the number of terms. Okay then we have something called standard form. Standard form is how you should write polynomials, okay? And standard form basically means that you should write every polynomial biggest exponent down to little, down to smallest, okay? So for example, if I have 10x to the fourth, Okay, this polynomial is written in standard form. My biggest exponent is a four, then a three, then a two, then a one, and then no variable, no exponent at all. Technically, this is x to the zero, so we don't need it. This is the constant. So your constant's always on the end. Notice that the coefficients have nothing to do with putting it in standard form. It is biggest exponent down to the smallest. That's how you should write polynomials. They need to be written in standard form like that. Then. The coefficient, if you are in standard form, the coefficient that leads it is called the leading coefficient. I mean, that's pretty easy. When your polynomial's in standard form, the leading coefficient, it leads all the rest, okay? It does not mean it's the biggest coefficient. It's just the coefficient on your term when you are written in standard form, okay? Our biggest coefficient is actually 11. And it's not the leading, it's this one right here. And remember that the number that stands alone is called 
the constant, okay? All these other numbers in front are called coefficients. All right, now it's important to understand standard form because now we're gonna talk about degree of a polynomial. We're gonna skip degree of a monomial for just a second. So a polynomial's degree is basically its biggest exponent. Okay, so for example, okay, this, the biggest exponent, and it's easiest to see the biggest exponent when I write it in standard form, but my biggest exponent is a four. So this is a fourth degree polynomial. That's really all it is. Um, if I have 7x squared plus 3x plus 1, that's a 2, so this is a second degree polynomial. So you just look for the biggest exponent, okay? Now, just like with um, terms, we do have special names for some of them. So if you have a first degree polynomial, that is actually called a linear polynomial. So instead of saying first degree, we would say linear. Now it's gonna look familiar to you because here is an example of a first degree, 5x plus one, because the exponent is technically a one, which makes it first degree, this is linear. If you look, that looks a lot like mx plus b, which we know is a linear equation. There is a direct correlation, direct, they go together, okay? So it, it is a linear because it's a first degree and also because when you graph it, you get a line, okay? Then a second degree is called a quadratic, okay? So that example I had up there before or something similar to it, this is called a quadratic. It's a second degree, but we call those a quadratic, all right? Um, you will learn about quadratics next chapter. There's really quad doesn't mean two. So there's really no, hey, this is how you remember. You just have to know that that's called a quadratic, okay? And then finally, go down here, a third degree is called a cubic, okay? And of course, third degree is when your biggest exponent is a three. After that, there is no special name. After that, it would be fourth degree, fifth degree, sixth degree, seventh degree, so on and so forth. These are the only ones with special names that you'll have to know. Now, it's pretty easy. Monomial means one term, binomial means two terms, trinomial, three terms. Linear, first degree, quadratic, second degree, cubic, third degree. The hardest part is not messing them up. Don't call a third degree a trinomial, okay? Trinom that has nothing to do with degree. So just don't get the threes, the twos, and the ones mixed up. You have to keep the degree names and the polynomial names, number of terms, um, separate from each other, okay? So now that we've covered that, let's go back and talk degree of a monomial because a monomial is different. Obviously, if you have only one variable, you're just going to look at that exponent and that is the degree. But if a monomial has more than one variable, okay, we do not look for the biggest exponent. We actually are going to add the exponent. So this is considered a fifth degree. So we are going to add the exponents even if they are different bases. This is not the property of keep the base at the exponents. We're not simplifying, we're just saying the degree. And this goes only for monomials. Any other polynomial, you just give me the biggest exponent. Monomials are the only ones that we add the exponents together. Now the good news is most monomials only have one variable, and so we find the degree just like we would any other polynomial. It's only once um, every once in a great while that you have to remember this. And that's just one of those things that you have to remember, okay? That should cover all of your vocabulary. So stay tuned for how to name a polynomial.